Hello friends and neighbors, John your Whiskey Neighbor here and welcome again to my deck. It is Friday and it is International Whiskey Day. Not as famous as World Whiskey Day, but uh, it was started to honor uh, Michael Jackson, long time uh, spirit writer, beer writer. Um, and uh, it's nice to just uh, think of, uh, of the great body of work that he did. Uh, promoting, celebrating, and even uh, if you can go back as far as me uh, to the Beer Hunter series, kind of uh, educating us on how uh, beer was evolving around the world back in, uh, I believe that was either late 80s or early 90s, I'm not sure. Um, it was a pretty awesome career and uh, an amazing uh, man. So it's a great uh, way to celebrate his work. Uh, I believe it's tied to um, donations for Parkinson's. Uh, so if you feel like you want to honor his memory, I think that would be something. I'll put a tag here or a word here about uh, International Whiskey Day and their website and what they say on how to celebrate it. For me, I thought it'd be great to celebrate by looking at uh, some interesting whiskey. I threw a quick poll out. I only put it on for an hour, uh, which obviously is not the right thing to do. I need to have it out for a day or something. But a few people did ring in and they said, hey, you know what? Talk to us about something odd and unusual. So I went to the cabinet and I have this bottle. So this will be my thoughts about Rampure, Rampur, Rampur Select. It's uh, an Indian whiskey and I have not reviewed an Indian whiskey on the channel. So stay with us through the break and I'll give you my thoughts on Rampure. <music> Thanks for staying uh, through the break. That was a bit of a long intro, but I did want to acknowledge uh, Michael Jackson and, uh, you know, why is it International Whiskey Day? So this is Rampure Select. And I will say I know very little about this bottle. Uh, it, uh, it came into kind of my radar in 2017 Whiskey Advocates Top 20 of the Year. I really like their top 20. I like that it's a group of people that vote on it. I like that it's uh, blind judging and and uh, really I've never um, been steered wrong. I know their last one has a bit of a controversial first pick, but um, just you know in their top five and I think this was fifth. But at any rate, this is Rampure Indian Single Malt, non-chill filtered. Uh, and it says, uh, you know, right on here um, that it's, uh, uh, indulge in the rich Indian heritage and enduring traditions of the Maharajas aged in the foothills of the Himalayas uh, this exquisite whiskey is the oh I don't know how to say that Kanor of single malts so the distillery is uh, Radico Radico Katan um, from India and uh, we'll see what we get I've been eager to to see, you know, I've looked at this, but I've never even pulled out the bottle. So this is a true uncorking, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. Um, ah, so it comes with a nice, uh, kind of a nice bag there to show it's high quality. Uh, the only other thing I have in a bag is actually uh, a 40 year old Canadian club, which was pretty cool. Um, I think Crown Royal, I might have a bag or two of that somewhere. But uh, there we go. So it came with this pretty cool bag. And uh, it has been on my shelf for three years uh, in the basement in the dark. So I'm not worried about how it sat. It's released at 43%, very clearly non-chill filtered. It doesn't say if it's uh, colored, but um, I'll be able to believe that it's not. Oh. There's no pull tab. I may have to cut here if I get too embarrassed with uh, my opening skills. Oh, ah, it opened easily. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't usually do uncorking. Ah, not bad. Hopefully you heard that. Oh, I went to the camera, not to the mic. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully you guys are um, safe at home. My family is still well. We are still in uh, self-isolation. Um, because it is spring break up here. I'm gonna let that sit just for a little bit. Just let it um, 
Open up. You know, I really actually feel that uh, if you leave a whiskey in a cup or a glass like this for a little bit, it does let different aromas come out. Also, I find a true uncork like that and neck pour uh, not unusual to find um, just a little bit of higher alcoholic vapors that go away. Let's see what we get on this Rampure Indian uh, single malt. So, you know, again, single malt, I'm assuming they're abiding by uh, international laws, which would mean it would be all barley. Um, and single, it just comes from the Rampure Distillery. Um, or what did I call it? I didn't call it. What did I say? That's the name of the whiskey, but it's the Radico, Radico Cotton <laughs> Distillery. I'll put that down below. Okay, let's see what we get. Huh. So this is... Just it is so first thoughts, right? But right away, kind of a mix between lots of of um, of uh, fruit, but I'm also getting a little bit of caramel. Yeah, but come back to to fruit. I've been saying that a lot lately because the last two reviews were uh, ex sherry or ex cabernet casks, which also brought a different kind of fruit. This is a deeper rounder fruit um i mean i i might have been i saw it on here somewhere but I, yeah that kind of tropical fruit note so yeah this is bursting with um peaches i know that's not tropical but peaches maybe a little bit of mango Yeah, banana. Apricot. None of those are, except for mango, I guess none of those are really tropical. So I guess maybe not tropical, but, but juicier, fuller, richer fruits. Not that lean, crisp drying. Like it's not apple... Um, that kind of fruiting. Uh, it's not really cherry, but it's that full... Oh, that just took a turn. That went to... Uh... Malt. <laughs> Green. Yeah, so it is... Of the week... Uh, not as specific as some of the X sherry stuff I've been drinking lately, but it is definitely the uh, most rich with fruit nose that I've had this week. And in a while. Huh. I hope you found something to pour and drink along uh, with International Whiskey Day. Yeah. Not getting anything beyond that. Sorry guys, I need to uh, spend a bit more time to get more layers out of it. Pleasant nose, expressive nose. Reminds me a little bit of the Sexton in terms of its volume. I've, I've said before, noses that have that much fruit and almost floral notes, yeah, um, tend to be almost a perfumey note. Definitely. All right, let's see how it tastes. Cheers, Slancha. Take care. I was a little sharp in the palate. Definitely feeling it nicely coating in the mouth. It was a little bit sprightly. Um, kind of surprised me. There's no age stamp on this. I would say it's got to be youthful. Doesn't mean it's not lacking in flavor. I'm getting quite a bit of um, spicing. Definite cinnamon, nutmeg, um, fresh grated spices. Um, 
pepper. There's some black pepper in here. Yeah, quite spicy, but feels like a wood spice. Feels like, um, yeah, and drying a little bit at the end, even though it was coating in the mouth, I thought, oh, this is good. Interesting. Yeah, now the nose is getting some of those spices too. Thankfully, it's far too fruity. Now it's finally getting a little legs, a little bit of wood. Okay, reminds me a little bit of Nika in the Barrel, which I really like. Um, and by that, I mean there are layers of wood notes in here now. Fresh wood, cut wood, lots of spices. I need to back up. It wasn't immediately peppery. I don't want to suggest it's like a really bitey rye spice, but definite some pepper, definite, uh, you know, Christmas baking spices, all of those different things you get in fruitcake, right? Like, so the, like the different things going on, a bit of nut, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So you've watched, I open, puzzled, and now it's starting to speak to me. It's still young but it is rich with flavor. It coats the mouth. It feels like a nice, um, not heavy, but, but close to that, certainly medium body dram. It's, it's richer, oilier, but the finish leaves me, um, it does actually kind of dry out at the end, which I appreciate. It, it kind of puckers the mouth a little bit, and there are absolutely layers of spicing to get out of this whiskey. Wow, I, uh, I bought this uh, back in 2017 in Calgary. I have no idea where a person could get this nowadays because it has, I don't think it's been on the shelf for a little while. But if you like um, lively, spicy, but very expressive fruit forward on the nose, um, I could hardly recommend this. It's completely unfair to give a star value to an uncorking like that. But I will say, I, uh, I even in the five minutes, ten minutes we've been together, I've gone from, this is kind of a puzzling, very fruity, and then my first sip, young, to I uh, hope to uh, pour another, uh, relax with family, and uh, get to know this whiskey, because it actually has a lot to say. Thank you for joining me uh, this week. I have been on my spring break as an educator. Um, so I've been able to, and we're isolated. So I've really been able to come to you guys, talk about whiskey. It's been a lot of fun sharing every couple of days. There's there's no way I can continue that. I, I'd love to, uh, but but already today, uh, you know, work is really uh, beckoning as we try to support um, our young people through distance, through online or whatnot, and continue their education as they're isolated at home. I hope you're well. I hope um, you're taking this seriously, that uh, you're reducing contact as much as you can, and uh, that you're looking for activities I've shared with you before, from we to uh, possibly even some very embarrassing family dance routines. But whatever it is you're doing, uh, I do wish you well. And uh, I do want to acknowledge uh, yeah, Michael Jackson's phenomenal contribution to, uh, to this, this world that I'm so fortunate to be a part of, reviewing spirits or talking about, uh, talking about whiskey. All the best, you guys. Cheers. Cheers.